with All Shall Parish at Heavy Montreal. Uh, how are you finding the festival so far today? It's been amazing, man. This has been a dream come through. Uh, just playing with so many bands. Uh, Opeth is playing tomorrow. It's just, it's unreal. Yeah. Man. So crazy. Motorhead, everybody. So now uh, your new album uh, drops uh, July 26. What can you tell me about it? Uh, it's definitely the most mature, uh, brutal record that Ultra Paris has definitely been with. Um, it's my first record with the band, and I'm uh, definitely proud of it. And right. I'm very excited to see what the fans think of it. So, um, now it's this, your... Tuesday. Yeah, this Tuesday. This <laughs> Tuesday. This Tuesday. First album with the band. How does it compare to the stuff they've done in the past? And what did you add to the band? Um, honestly, on this record, we tried to bring every element that we could. Um, of all the previous records, um, Awaken the Dreamers was a very progressive record, right. and uh, a Price of Existence was, if a lot of people argue that that was their masterpiece, so we definitely tried to bring the uh, the, the metalcore kind of uh, era of that of that record, um, right. as long as they, as well as like the progressive elements to the new record, and I think we really did a good job. Um, myself and Francesco being new members, we were definitely nervous, kind of coming into the whole thing. Um, um, but it flowed very naturally. We wrote the record in like three months. Right. Oh, so it's just, it was very flawlessly, and it's been the best collaborative effort I've ever had right. in any so, band. How'd you find, how'd the band find you? Actually, Jerry Club um, managed my old band, Sea of Treachery. Oh, good. Um, and at the time, he was managing All Shall Perish. And uh, Sea of Treachery was having kind of kind of a lull in their career, just a lot of lineup changes and everything. And uh, he contacted me and told me that All Shall Perish was looking for a drummer. So I flew out to San Francisco, met the guys. Um, everything went great. And we actually uh, ended up doing an audition. Uh, and I passed the test. So there you go. here I am. So. <laughs> So now, this is a festival date, it's a one-off. Uh, album drops Tuesday. What's happening tour-wise with a package or something in the fall? Are you going out with anybody? Uh, we'll actually be out with uh, Black Dahlia in October. Oh, nice. um, we have plans um, overseas for December. Um, we're still getting that locked down, so nothing I can announce at this point. Okay. Um, but Australia, definitely look out for us. Okay. Um, we're hoping hoping to get over there in December. So it should be. Oh, good. that's fantastic. Um, what do you think of this festival, and who do you plan on checking out today, or who have you checked out today? Um, I've definitely been checking out. In Flames is an amazing band. Um, from the first day they jumped on the tour, um, just killing it, just yeah. amazing. Um, Machine Ed for sure, um, and uh, of course Megadeth and Disturbed and Gosmack. Um, I'm actually kind of bummed because we have to leave tonight to be at the the Hartford show right. um, tomorrow, and uh, tomorrow is uh, Opeth and Motorhead and all those bands. And so Kiss. <laughs> And kiss. kiss. So it's very unfortunate that we can't just hang around and party with these guys. We can but call in sick. We can't. We could call in sick. <laughs> but for Connecticut. We love you, right? We love you, man. <laughs> Good. Well, thank you very much for your time. No problem, man. Oh, thank wait. Uh, website. What's, where are we plugging? You know the website for the band? What's the website? Oh. Oh, it's allshellparish.com. You can check us out on facebook.com slash allshellparish. Um, follow us. Tweet us. Fucking love us. There you go. Well, thank you once again. No problem. Thanks, Have man. a good one. Okay.